Hello everyone, it's me GameSlide99, aka NoBrain, and welcome to another Star Wars Destiny video! We are playing in the Artificery Super Casual Empire at War Tournament of some kind. I don't remember the actual official name of it, I'll get back to you on that one, in which both Captain Phasma 2, Mark 2, and FN are both banned for this tournament. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. So I decided to super casually play my Guavian Sienna Balotique, and I am joined here with Vika. I should probably start doing some of... There we go. I, I need to actually do some uh, mulliganing whilst... Uh, yes. All right. Yeah. And shall... And there we go. All right, so I start off with a first order TIE fighter. That's not too terrible, considering I also start off with Imperial backing. Um, that does give me the excuse to even um, five to his four. That does give me the excuse. Like you got it. Yeah, uh, so it does. Um, I could like taking this and playing the card is the same as me just playing this. So I could, if I wanted to, take the shields. I'm against a triple melee deck. Uh, this is not an easy choice. That's a uh, can be quite a scary deck. Um, I'm gonna take my battlefield though. Sounds good. And I'm just gonna open up with a tie pilot, tie fighter. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm just gonna have to play this imperial backing on the next turn or use it for a reroll now, basically. Uh, none of these cards in my hand are actually that great. Uh, I've got a partnership, I guess, but that's that's not that amazing. He does have a four dice, uh, four dice team technically, although that fourth dice is absolutely awful. Shield's not what I want to see either. I would like to have seen a resource instead to work with partnership. All right, and there you go. There's your special. Uh, <laughs> I'll roll in my scene. Perfect. Well, I got that resource. I could potentially get him to do the disrupt. And there's a one melee, so he's got two melee showing. Well, we you have one melee showing now. Congratulations. <laughs> two melee now. I will take the resource. Okay. Wants to disrupt that, that's uh, fine. I guess I'll Alright, that's fine by me. Do I play a partnership now? Is it worth it for the speed uh, in this situation? I feel like it is. Alright, I'm gonna play partnership here. Okay. I'm not gonna be able to have the resource to um, resolve them fast, but I will have the ability to at least play that. Sorry, that was supposed to be a blank. Alright, well that's a that's only a special. Right. That special can do two damage to the seventh sister effectively by removing the two shields, but other than that, this is a okay, terrible roll. I I'm will... gonna re-roll some dice. I'm definitely gonna have to reroll some dice. Uh, sure, let's do one to uh, to battle, I guess. All right. All right. That's a bit better. He can now guardian away the one range damage of the Guavian, or else I will just resolve that as it is. Okay. That's... Yep. That's perfectly to be expected. Yep. Well, Another one when you could have got nice. a lot better than that, that's Hopefully. fine by me for now. I think I'll just discard this mobilize. I will reroll these. I want to get this damage. I really want to get this damage going. There we go, there's a two, and there's another resource. Yeah, okay, I can work with all this work with all this just fine. And go ahead and throw okay, four let's into do... Okay. Oh that's just mean. <laughs> Do I discard the Imperial backing here? Okay, um... uh, it's still my go, because that was your, your thing to make oh, me re-roll. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, my bad. I think I'll take the resource. Okay. Okay, um... Let's do two more damage. That gives me a 5% chance to roll damage on this and a 1 in 6 on this. Uh, I think I can do that. Yeah, discarding the last card from my hand hurts there, especially when it's an economy card, but I think I can go for this damage. Alright, 3 for 1, that is damage I can at least go for. 
Uh, what am I wanting to do here? Am I wanting to go for the 7th sister? I don't think I want to. I think I might want to just try and kill off this Tuscan immediately, even though his okay. dice is not very Take good. two actions here, and I'll do... Wait, no, that doesn't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, please. Please, go ahead. I mean, not that two for one's a great trade anyway, but uh, that would have been quite bad. Um, no, please, go ahead. Uh, look, if you do that, I will willingly give up this resource. <laughs> Yep. Um, I guess I just claim here. You take two actions, you spend the first action claiming. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. Now, the Gamori God Can't does have a very powerful... Out there. Who knows what he has Guardian and he does have a powerful die, but I think going for this Tuscan is the best choice here. Seventh Sister does have an extra die on her, um, but she's got the most health, and I want to try and kill off someone to reactivate Baldi instant as quickly as possible. I'll uh, hit the Tuscan for the five, then. Okay. And then there we go. He takes the battlefield okay. away from me, I managed to do 6 damage to him. That's uh, pretty good for me so far. Uh, I know he hasn't abandoned all hope at the start of the game, so... Okay, never mind, he's getting rid of it. I was gonna say I might have to worry about an abandoned all help otherwise. Hi, Yeti! Alright, so a true, true start isn't okay. the worst in the world with this ATDP. Um, could definitely do something with that. Well, let's play Force Illusion. I will roll out my Balotique. Go on ranged. Uh, I can potentially partnership and go for the sh for a big shot on the Tuscan, uh, but with this Force Illusion, so he probably would survive there. that. Now I have something on the field for he doesn't liking you, to he doesn't like you with, I should say. Um, I don't think I want a truce just yet. I don't want to open him up to four cost stuff to, as upgrades potential necessarily. Um, even though three costs are generally what he's gonna have. Uh, so I think I'm okay with rolling Sienna out first and seeing how this goes. All right, that's a plus two. That's three damage that he'll have to um force illusion. Okay, I just want to hit the one right now. Get rid of that die. All right. One disrupt, okay, I'm perfectly fine with that being a one disrupt rather than anything great. <clears throat> Three for one comes out, that's uh, that's very mm, scary for him. don't like that side. That is just straight up three damage to, I can throw into the Tuscan, then he has to remove it, uh, remove the force solution. Okay, um... Or I can resolve five of it to resolve that plus two as well. Let's take the resource. Uh, that would be five, that would put that guy um, from nine onto four. He didn't... He doesn't seem to have anything that can stop my uh, three for resource and the two there, so I think I'm okay just rolling out the Guavian here for now. I'm just not going to use partnership this turn. Oh, and I get a two. All right, so this is going to be a dead Tuscan. Yeah. I just needed a one ranged or a two ranged there, and I got the two ranged. Had to be black, though. Uh, had to be a gray side. Or a black side, I should say. I don't, I don't know. Is that black or is that gray? Oh, he's paying two. For a secret droid die. Okay. Uh, yeah, I am gonna just first throw the three for one at the Tuscan. Okay. <clears throat> Use Force Illusion. I mean, I guess technically I should have thrown the four instead, because that'd be one more that you'd have to get rid of, but I think this is the... But whatever. And then four to shoot him. Okay. And that one... And that readies up Baltic. Yep. Alright. Alright, so that's a double focus right there. Um, so you can always focus, but the best you could focus, if I remove this two, then the best you could focus into is one damage. So, uh, one damage and a shield. So I'm okay with that, I think. 
die he doesn't like you the shield or the disrupt here and Gal he doesn't like you the disrupt all right I'm gonna he doesn't like you remove this disrupt remove that to melee okay one big problem uh, is being shown by mm. his with his character <coughs> dice is that he doesn't have is that he doesn't have a lot of damage it's quite Role dependent. And these Seeker Droids, man. Seeker Droids with Seven Sister don't really work because they're just so expensive. You have to have three of them out for that to cost each to, be, to have really been worth it. Alright, you discuss reroll. Taking the shield. Okay. <clears throat> no. I'm probably not going to get much out of Baltic here. Maybe a resource or a one ranged. But it's something, you know. I think I'll go for the Guardian next so that he can't just keep... Okay, so that he can't to... split the damage up between the two. Okay, yeah, Power of the Force. Again. That, that might have been a scary possibility with the if you, with the melee. Um, well, no, it would only have been a two. It wouldn't mean that big of a deal. Okay, so he can get a two melee off still. Uh, that's not the best in the world for me because he can focus with his uh, full speed into a uh, Doom Alley there, and then into a something there. Okay. Well, I can take the shield at first so that he doesn't do any actual damage. Okay, I'll do two there. Okay. Uh, do I play Truce into Hidden Agenda here? Get rid of some cards from my hand so that I can draw more. I think that's fine. I'm going to play Truce. And then spend that on a hidden agenda. Okay. This gets the cards out of my hand so that next turn I can potentially do, an Im do a mobilize or something. Um, mm. If I draw into more economy. Although I've already used one, immo one mobilize and one uh, imperial okay, backing. I think I'll... Ah, I'll take the shield. Okay, yeah, no, it would probably would have been smart for him to just claim there instead of using up the resource. Yep, and that means I claim. Okay. Uh, he basically just gave me a free resource by not claiming there. Okay. In exchange for taking the shield. I mean, I would give my opponent one resource in exchange for a shield any t any. I would give my opponent a shield in exchange for me taking a resource any day of the week. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not draw anything to really use with this hidden agenda. But I can still play the ATTP for two. I'm gonna play the ATTP for two. Okay. <clears throat> At this point he's gonna have issues with this doubt and he doesn't like you. So yeah, as you guys can probably tell, this is a different list to what I've been running beforehand. Like, um, wow. I, I got rid of Everything the cannon fodders. In there. <laughs> what did you say, um, sorry? No, oh, just everything I need in there. I have <laughs> oh, no okay. idea what. Well, to do here. guess you should have been discarding more cards. I mean, I helped you with that force illusion. You discarded a lot off the top of your deck. You didn't want any of those, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, what, what did I force illusion actually? A mind probe. Electroshock. It's just a roll out. All right, he gets a two damage and potential to discard and the special. All right. I can roll up Baltic now and uh, use one of his dice with the he doesn't like you if I want to. He hasn't rolled enough damage to straight up kill me. That's fine with me. I can even take the resource and then do a partnership play if I wanted to. Because he's, he's in an awkward position where if I take the resource now, he can't really disrupt. Okay, he'd be disrupting um... two and then his discard would only be a one. So he definitely won't disrupt if I take the resource right now. Okay. Back of muscle. Or do I want to... He doesn't like you. That too, melee. I'll take the resource, see how it goes. I'm going to take this resource. Sounds good. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll just. Oh, that's, take that's two something cards. he could do. 
and the reason. Oh, he got both of my removals? Oh, that really sucks. I didn't think about that line of play for some weird reason, even though it was super obvious. I might save the partnership now just so that I can have a card for a reroll here. And I rolled a resource and a disrupt. Mm -hmm. Brassite has resolved the vast majority of his dice at this point, so he won't kill Valtique yet again for one more turn. <laughs> Let's do one. Sure thing. Shield, not what I wanted. I would like, you know, damage. The two or the plus two. Okay, let's... But oh well. Oh, okay, he's Force Illusioning that guy, uh, which is interesting because he's on 10 health, whereas the Knights is, whereas the census is basically on 12. But... Only the one Disrupt, I can now Disrupt both of those resources if I wanted to. Don't think I'm going to want to, though. I have this little hunch that I'm not going to want to. At this point, though, my deck is starting to get a bit thin. Oh, and he rolls the plus two for the four damage. Um, so if I want to keep Valtique alive right now, I have to resolve the shield. Then he still dies at the start of next turn with the backup muscle anyway. But I get to keep the focus die, but I could just use the focus die right now if I wanted to. Do. Hmm, that's a difficult choice. I think I'll use the focus die right now and go into the... Two on the eight DP, I want to say. Um, uh, well, the first of all, Tie Fighter has the special, which is also not terrible. If I'm doing rerolls, I'm trying to figure out if I want to do rerolls. How how I would want to do this. Eight DP can also uh, go into a special though that kills off the rest of the black backup muscle. So actually, I'm okay. I think with rerolling the eight DP die more. I'll use the focus before I die. Okay, and I'll finish in there. Alright, well that plus one is pretty worthless since Guavian's okay, ability can also just remove pass. a shield anyway. At this point, he should pro he's probably just going to claim and I can do my stuff, or is he going to start trying to get rid of dice? I'm sorry, did you say pass or something? Oh, yeah, sorry, pass. Oh, right, okay. I, I, I was like, this is getting a bit awkward at this point. Alright, two resources th and then six damage. Oof. Okay, that's pretty good to me. That's not good. I'll definitely take all of that. I'll just claim. Alright, I'm taking those resources. Alright, so I can pop a... I can pop a Force Illusion. Um... Or I can go after this Knight Sister. I think I want to uh, Seventh Sister. I think I want to go after Seventh Sister overall since he's got Force Illusion there. Well, it's difficult to focus someone down uh, quite so easily. I will do a total of three to him. Um, that will put him to six, seven. Or I could. I'm just going to do the six to the Seventh Sister. All right, and at this point, I'm now I'm now equal to the amount of dice I had started with, although my dice are slightly better still. I've got that hidden agenda on the field. He hasn't he hasn't done any real ramping at all yet. Just been relying on character dice and cards to keep himself alive. 
course I've not got any economy left uh, because I had to discard most of it without using it, the mobilize, the imperial backing. It, well, that's not most of my economy, but that's a good amount of it, and I'm not drawing any more of it. I've got one flank, I got rid of one flank from my deck, because uh, I realized mm. that would be in situations where I might want to roll out my characters early with, say, a partnership or something, but I still have one of it. Well... <clears throat> I do have a pin no, down, so I've, I've got a lot of them. Yeah, straight pain for these. But... Oof, a straight play. Yeah. Oh, I guess I know what I'm probably going to be using my uh, flank on there. Oh, well, TIE, TIE Fighter rolls a special which can remove one shield on the map so far. That's uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> no, it isn't. Alright, what's he going to roll here? He's going to roll the Alright, two melee and a three for one. Uh, he can't afford to pay the three for one, so I can just remove the two melee right here. Um, yeah. Unless he has a truce, but I doubt it. I'll uh, remove the two melee from the droid there. Okay. I still got two more pieces of removal. And with the flank used up, I can then roll out the end of next turn. Force speed and reroll. Force speed and rerolls. Okay. Well, he went for the uh, special on mind probe, and he didn't get it, unfortunately for him. I mean, maybe I, I probably should have just removed the mind probe dice in the first place to stop that from happening, but I decided not to. And now he's only when it's working out for me. He's only got two melee down. Uh, okay, let's reroll again. Okay. Still that three form. All right, and that's a resource for me. That's uh, decent, I guess. Um, okay. Um, I don't mind taking a bit of a slower turn here. Do two damage, I guess. All right. Do I want a partnership here? No, as I said, I think I'm okay with taking a slower turn here. Saving the partnership for when they get a bit lower on the next round. All right, that's a three for one. I will definitely take that. That's another four damage. Just need two more for this uh, seven sister to die, and he has no resources left. And he definitely does not want to be discarding the cards that left in his hand, otherwise he would have already. All right. Okay. Let's do. Yeah. Doesn't he like doesn't me. like you. He doesn't liking you. A mind probe to ice man. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> Yeah, he's in three rolls without hitting that special. It's oh, people messaging me. Hopefully, get Skype there someday. All right. Was that Sienna? Sorry. Yeah. 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 All right. So I can use Sienna's ability here to get the ATD feed die back into the field, and that might be what I end up doing. I'm gonna use Sienna's ability to ready the ATDP. I will pass. He's looking for something to Guardian. Pass. I'll take the resource now whilst I can. I'll pass. It's clearly not going to be a tempo loss for doing so since he's passing all of his actions. I'll discard the Slave 1, not going to want it. And I will reroll uh, all of the other dice. Alright, there we go. There's that 3 for 1 that he'll probably want to Guardian away. Again, it's a pretty good roll. I'm not gonna lie, very good roll. Uh, this Tie Fighter didn't get anything for it, but okay, I guess I'll take that one. I don't even have to pay for that three damage. And I'll don't have to pay for that force here. illusion to go away. Yes. Oh, a holocron! A holocron is gone. Yes. Nice little. Nice little start there. Well, that has reduced his chance turn. of drawing a, drawing a holocron quite heavily here. Um, I think I'm okay with keeping the rest of this hand for the most part. I think I'm just going to want to just do the damage and special, like, uh, out and save up for the next round where I can do some mind probe shenanigans. 
I can break that mind probe again. It's not the worst in the world. I'll just do the two to the seventh sister. I can afford to play a little slower, a little less destructive <clears> in my deck here. I'll just claim. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm just going to special to get rid of the one shield. Okay. Alright, keeping a hand of removal for the next, going into the next turn, and I just drew a friends in high places and a truce, okay. Again, just, just got to get that, those resources up. I'll be able to do hmm. double Siennas if I want to do this turn. Okay. Still not done anything for this hidden hidden agenda though. Roll her out. No, still no special. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of that mind probe die now though. Okay. I could have also diffused the situation by playing truce uh, into playing like partnership or something. That would have got rid of the um, that would have got rid of some of the cards in my hand to make it not a very powerful effect. But I think I can just remove it entirely. Odds are good that eventually he's going to roll special though. Okay. I, I did not mean to start. Um, I did not mean to be doing what this is. This, there we go. Zooming in and out. But it was a nice. I'm sorry. Sure, let's. There are those resources. I think that's fair that he does that. But I still have a truce up if I ever need to pay one for damage. Two disrupts myself. I mean, disrupting is not terrible. The Gamorian Elite Saber. See what he can do with him. <laughs> Alright. So he put the Ancient Lightsaber on that guy. Okay. It's fine by me. Oh, uh, I, it really likes this thing. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Okay, we'll do the damage to Do I want to be quick with this partnership now? I think I'm okay being quick to partnership now, but do I have truce first or I have the potential? Uh, no, no, I'm not even going to do it. Not even going to do it. Don't want to be quick. Just slow and steady wins the race here. I am getting a little worried about time being called okay, on us um, before too long. We have 10 minutes left of this round. If I can kill off the 7th sister here, I'm probably going to win on time no matter what. He has a lot of health in his characters after all. <clears throat> Let's take shield. Alright, well, it looks like okay, I'll probably be discarding the partnership for a reroll here. Alright, big reroll. Let's do this. <laughs> Again, a four, which isn't what I want for um, friends in high places. Alright, sure, we'll just take the one. Well, he just rolled a plus five. Well then. That's scary. Uh, which one do I discard then? <laughs> He's got plenty of rerolls, so the doubt is probably going to be a good choice to keep. Uh, the friends in high places, it could work out pretty well for me here. I still have plenty, plenty of um, vehicles that I haven't touched yet, but my hands are getting low. My deck size is getting low, so I think I will discard and I will reroll. The dice. And that's a 3 for 1. Alright, that's going to be 4 damage to put the Knights 7th District 1 HP. Kind of wish I'd kept that partnership okay. now. Do uh, I have the other partnership? Did I already I get rid of the other one? Done. I did. Okay, and now he's just down. Wow. Actually, sorry. Um, okay. Huh. Could have a truce, I guess. But... Ah. Sorry, I'll just reroll. He's not gonna. 
Oh, wow, oh, he's going Big money. He went... Wow. Okay. Need that. You went for the one in six. I'll doubt that one in six. <laughs> yeah. Although the focus side also would lead to a nice, nice result on her, but... Alright. Alright, so it's probably time in the next round. Do I want to just do full damage to his to his actual HP here, or do I want to um, throw two of it, not to it, in order to potentially actually get a kill? Um, Promisation last day we can remove two of that. Okay, so I've got I've uh, taken eight. I suppose. I've taken twelve so far. He's taken eight, uh, nineteen, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen so far. Oh god. Okay. Well, I did have the truce. Uh, uh, you nice. can take a resource as well. And then I will go ahead and do the fall to the seventh sister. Okay. Alright, both partnerships are gone though. So I won't be able to just snipe her at the start of the next turn. Hmm. Okay, I... Well, I'd better still read. Yes, something here. Uh, sure. And I might as well. Okay. Take two actions. He does get a single melee off, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Do I disrupt or claim here? I think I'm, I think I'd rather disrupt. I'll disrupt you for one. Okay. I'll, I'll claim. claim. Again, I'm being very patient here. But again, I don't draw any economy. Uh, pin down at least is going to be some removal. I've got a lot of economy back it back up in here. I've got. Two vehicles are uh, in there. A mobilized and imperial okay, backing. Oh, and he doesn't like that line uh, probe here once. But it's something. Hey, hey, there we go. Yeah, I'll remove it again. <laughs> yep. Honestly, this is the okay. sort of situation where he could be going for a mill victory here. Uh, we're both very low on cards. And I can't. I know what I could get from friends in high places, and they would be high impact stuff. Another vehicle would be high, very high impact here, or a heat of battle or something. He did just discard his second sound the alarm after all. I need to roll out the Sienna anyway right now, so I can potentially get something out of her before she dies. Okay. Um... He's just gonna try for the roll. I mean, he Two does now have the here. he does now have the second uh, seeker droid die out. Let's roll out. And he does get the melee for the kill on Sienna. Uh, no, one okay, away from the and... kill on Sienna. But that hurts big time. Let's, uh, yeah, let's kill her there. Uh, yep. I was wrong in my math yet again. <clears throat> no, that does actually kill her. Well, I can play the DH-17, I guess. I'll play a pistol. Okay. So yeah, I have two vehicles, a mobilize, an imperial backing, and a pistol. In there. That's kind of ridiculous. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, take two cards. My deck is running very low, very dangerously low here. I don't have the resource for that, and I'm not going to get that resource because he killed my Sienna too early. Okay. 
and we're coming dangerously close to time. He has done hey, 17. Hey are you uh, guys still playing or are you just chatting? We're still playing. Okay, uh, round ends in five minutes. Damn it, okay. Uh, I have done 11, nearly 20. I've done... I've done slightly more damage to him than he's done to me so far, so this all counts. Okay, um, let's take a shield. But if he, once he uses the ancient lightsaber, he'll have done more to me than I have to him. That's a special, that's not what I want. These are some terrible, terrible rolls here. Jeez, these are awful rolls. Okay, I'm going to re-roll. On to the teeth, and he rolls a one melee. He's got my other friends in high places. <laughs> I've not been rolling for it at all. And oh my god, that's another one. Yeah. I'm only getting one damage out of this turn. Okay, that's just ridiculous. Damage. What can I do here? If I throw it into the thing, that's one more damage. She can... Might keep me alive. I'll throw one into the Guavian guard, Gamorian Guard here. Okay. I'll claim. And I'll take the shield. Alright, well this is going to be the last round before time is called, so... Let's see if you can finish me then. And, yep. well, here is all my economy. Okay, um... Let's roll out. And I don't have any removal for this, uh... For this mine probe die. Well... <laughs> I like one part of that roll and dislike three parts of it. I can play... I can do some ambushing so that it only does three damage... So this mine probe only does three damage to me. But then I have absolutely no resources available for actually doing anything else. Or I can just play cards and only go for 4 da damage taken. I'll play another pistol, so you'll still do, do a 4. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'll do the 4. Rolling now. Okay. Oof. He's almost certainly Sucks. won this one, unfortunately, um, just from the tie rakers. And I've just these last two turns have just been such awful rolls for me. Roll. No. He's going to be able to do four more damage. Morian's going to be on one HP. And there's nothing I can really do about that. I think I need to god roll with the DH17s to survive this. I think I've just got to assume I'm going to survive this and go for some rolls. Yeesh. I mean, this just this just sums up the last two <laughs> turns of me just not rolling damage ever. It really has, man. It's been such a tale of two halves for for the game. Okay, I'll do I'll do three and uh, no, I'm not going to save that guy. Okay, that's damage. And then I'll do power of the force with that guy. All right, game. God damn it! <laughs> I just couldn't. I just yeah. couldn't get two damage. <laughs> Dice games, man. On top of that, Whoa, would you like to notice that this hidden agenda over here? Look at this. Look at my final cards here. Look at yeah, all of this economy waiting. and damage. <sighs> I was waiting for the heat of battle or something to just. I just never drew me. anything. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? He just managed to kill me just now. The last, oh, yeah. the, the last, the last cards in my hand were all of the last cards in my deck were all of the good cards. I didn't roll any damage <laughs> the last two rounds. 
literally Vika, four are... blanks. It, Vika, like uh, Vika. Are, yeah. are you but the it... uh, the four wide guy? No. No. Or yeah, from uh, yeah, from the sealed tournament there. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Uh... Um... Lassie, right. Lassie, uh, this was so your... bad. I I played a hidden agenda on the second round, and I never got to resolve it because I never drew an event that <laughs> costed two or more. And he that's, literally that's rolled out quadruple blanks on the last. That's turn. how I quadruple felt blank. in um, the last round that I played, the last match that I played in the in the league. Like I literally didn't have a weapon for the first two rounds. I was like, um, okay, I'm not gonna win this game, I guess. I just I just needed two damage to kill a seventh sister in these last two rounds. Just two more damage, and it would have been a very easy game. Oh yeah, she'd have been a blowout. But no, he managed to no. pay for a mind probe. <laughs> he paid eight resources for things whilst I couldn't draw anything. Oh, that's so rough. I'm sorry, man. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, the game we play. Game we play. Those discards were <laughs> those discards were crucial, man. Those discards were crucial to just stop me from yeah, being able to re-roll dice. It once you have a few of those seeker droids out, it's the best side. Like a triple discard just ruins an entire turn. And yeah, my the only reason why I lost was because I just couldn't re-roll into good damage, so Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Alright, well uh Report match on challenge, and we'll get started with round two. Yeah. Okay. Well, sounds good. Uh, thanks a lot for the game. Good You're luck welcome. in your other ones. Hopefully they don't. Uh, yeah, uh... you too. But I think I'm already knocked out of first place just because you have to win all five games. I think for first place here. So. Oh yeah. Good luck on your next rounds. You too, man. All right. This be me against Nine Nine AK. No brainer. Not a good start. Not a good start. Sign.